He's got a, oh my god, it's a, it's a walking chair. Yeah, go Hagrid. Hello, this is What's Awesome, and welcome to a PlayStation 3 Let's Play, which I haven't done in a while. And it took me ages to set this up because I kept on messing it up. Because uh, it's, it's complicated how these plugs work, because I have to get it to change to HDMI. No, I have to get it to change to AV instead of HDMI so the recorder will work. And all that nonsense. Plus, even when I do do that, it looks different on the TV than it does on the recorder. It's a little bit squished on the version that you're going to see, but... Um, and it's not as good a resolution as it should be, but I'm playing Lego Harry Potter years one to four and I've also got the other game to follow up with. Um, there is a collection game with both of them in, I know, but I got this before that one was released, so I have to play the two separate games. Which is a shame because I'm missing the extra content, but there's no point in buying them again, is there? I have literally every single Lego Harry Potter game. No, I mean, I've I li literally every single Lego movie tie-in game on console. Every one. Um, I think the only, I think I'm only missing one, and that's like something about DC superpowers or something. Because I'm not that bothered about superheroes, that's the only reason. And they're not really movie, specifically movie based, I think. But, yeah, as you can see, there's a very nice long preview for this. Uh, the reason why I'm playing this, I'm playing this over Christmas because it's magic. <laughs> Which is very much a Christmassy thing. Plus there is an actual scene in the Harry Pot one of the Harry Potter movies, at least, where it's Christmas. So I think that's pretty dang close as you're going to get for a game which is not specifically Christmas based. There's as much Christmas you're going to get in it. And this is back in... I don't want all the games I play for Christmas to be bad ones, so... This was back in the days when the Lego game tie-ins had no voices, except mumbles and murmurs. It's all represented through slapstick, which I really like. I love that. Because you, you can only really get the jokes if you've... If you've seen the movie and things like that, and I, this is one of the only series where I've seen them all. So I actually I know what's going on. <laughs> Unlike in the Star Wars one where I'm just like, what the hell's happening? <laughs> I have watched the Star Wars movies, but I just wasn't really much into them. <laughs> so I've forgotten it all. We've got hiccups. Oh, God. Do you want to save this data? Yes. I've actually already done a personal thing, a personal play of this game, got, and I got up to 100%. And got all the trophies. Obviously the trophies are permanent, but I deleted my save so I can do it for the channel. And that means I do actually I do actually know the whole game already, but I won't remember everything, it's been a while. I just love the way this game looks. The mixture between real things and and uh, Lego things is a bit more reasonable in this game. It doesn't go too far into making everything Lego like it tried to do with the Star Wars one. <laughs> Here comes Hagrid! <laughs> Hagrid! Look, he just crashed with that baby. It's a good thing that baby's made out of Lego. Yeah. I don't even understand why this family, if they hated him so much, even took him in. Like, why did they take the baby? Did they feel obliged somehow? They weren't obliged at all. I mean, they could have just given him to the nearest foster home or something. Yep, everyone knows this part. I, this is one of my favourite parts of all the Hall uh, of all the Harry Potter movies. The bit when he's trying to stop the letters and they keep on coming. I love it! <laughs> and, they all... and they come through the chimney! I love it! 
gonna take these letters. <laughs> to be honest, you would be pretty creeped out. <laughs> You'd be thinking some kind of stalker or something. And then Hagrid pops up is just like, why didn't you get this letter? <laughs> I love this. And they're like, we're not going to question this big hunk of a guy, are we? This big stranger's like, hey, I've come here for Harry Potter. You're not going to question him, are you? A bit of a blurry effect. I think that's um, just a bit of the uh, processing going off a bit or something. Uh, this is a bit confusing because this is the first stage, but it's also the hub later on in the game. But it looks like that's the same. So, But you can tell it's a level because it has the money bar at the top. Now, what I've got to do, I know what I've got to do because I've played every Bloomin' Lego game <laughs> movie tie-in. They always have the same rules. Which is good, because I always know what I'm supposed to do. You have to bash everything, smash everything. Do, it's just absolutely... Can you only roll? Yeah, you can only roll. Okay, so I'm going to have to use Hagrid for this. Because he's the only one with a wand right now. Yep. you got to attack every item in the room. And I mean everything. There we go. Smash everything up. I'm trying to get him to... There we go. Oh, wait. He's trying to lift it. Okay, that's the other one. Yep, there we go. Circle is use your magic for some kind of something like that. And square is for shoot. So... So yeah, just gotta smack things. Sometimes you have to smack things multiple times in order to get all the money out of it, like this thing. You just gotta keep on collecting these little things that are called spuds. You can hold the square button to aim properly if you can't quite aim at something with the automatic aim by just pressing square. You can just hold it and then aim at it and then let go and that will shoot. So that's good. You can also, I think later on you can shoot multiple items that way, but not with Hagrid. Different characters have different abilities, so I won't be able to do everything on the first, on the first try. If you hold circle, you can build things too. It says it says one of two, so I need to find two of those. There's lots of little secrets like this, you see. And you need to do them all in order to get all this money, which you need. Swap them around, get some more cash. And if you do that, it makes a staircase, which is for when you get the collectible. Uh, but I need to do this table first. Yep. I presume it's a stable because this is the opposite end and it said one of two. So one on one end and one on the other. That would make sense. Yes, seems to be so. There we go, now the collectible's up there, but we can't reach it because we need to do this. Fiddle around with that, like we just did before, then it goes into a ramp. And then we climb up it and jump. There we go. We got one of four major collectibles. These are big. These ones are usually not all collectible, ever, unless you have every single character. You really have to do those later in the game, but it's good to get the ones that you can get earlier on because it does remember them, so... You might as well get some while you can. And uh, like I said, just keep on shooting stuff. I'm going to be spending a long time doing this because I'm going for 100%. So I'm going to be going for the money um, reward, which you get for getting a certain amount of money in each stage, which is only possible if you like smash everything. Yay! <laughs> It's so very cute, this game. It's very cute. Lots of charm to it. Uh, is there anything there? Oh, sorry, mate. Whoa! Ah, he's chasing me! He's got a... Oh my god, it's a... It's a walking chair! Yeah! Go, Hagrid! Out 
my way, peasants! <laughs> Look at this! Oh my god! And it's just it just made me he he kicked me off. Yep, teamwork and for once, the AI is okay, which means that you can do teamwork in this game without it messing up too bad. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Go here, so... Yeah. Boop. Drop it. And he can pick it up with magic and put it on the door, which is where we need to get out. So that's the end of this area. Just double check I haven't missed anything. Oh! Ah, I did miss a little something. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I think we got everything in here now. Okay, let's turn this doorknob and leave. Later on, you also get pickups which make you able to pick up these credits easier. So, if it seems like it's a bit difficult to get some of them, that's okay. You get they get the ability to do that later, so that's all right. Smash everything. Magic wall! Remember this? Whee! <laughs> Look at this. Look how elaborate this is. I love it. For a Lego game, this is pretty elaborate. Wave to a guy. Hey, dude. Oh, and he says hello. He gives me a thing. I get some more spuds. They're called spuds in this game. I don't really know what a spud is, but presumably what these things are. Some kind of building. Uh, whoops. No, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, Hagrid's too big. You're supposed to um, hide in those, but Hagrid's too big. Oh, bless him. Sweeping the road. Hello, you. Little blonde guy. Magic boy. Hello, little magic boy. It's magic, my boy. Magic. Snippity chips. Snippity snips. Blue ones are worth more. Um, it's like. Silver is the smallest, gold is a bit more than that, blue is a bit more than that, and purple is more than that. So that's how the spuds work value works. I don't know the exact values, but... Come on, Harry Potter. Get stand on top of there. No, no, stand up. Oh wait, can I stand on it myself? Um, hmm, can Harry, Harry, yeah, it can be a bit difficult to get Harry to do things sometimes. Oh, he's doing it. Go on, Harry. Oh, Harry. <laughs> As I was, I was saying the AI is good, but sometimes it does mess up. It's true. The AI is not always the best, but it is better in this game than it has been in other Lego games. I'll tell you that. Um... This was before the major Lego AI crash of the Lego of Jurassic Park, as I call it. <laughs> in Jurassic, in Lego Jurassic Park, the AI is god awful, like really, really bad. Seriously, it's ridiculous. I mean, at least in this game, it's only the secrets which you find a bit difficult. In the, where's it going? Wee! I can ride it. But um, in Lego Jurassic Park, there was a major part of the storyline where I had to go up a, uh, up a zip line and I had to take, put them up a platform like this and then, to, and then go up it to get to the zip line and, and I had to tell them to jump afterwards. So I, uh, and the character can't do that on their own. So I, have to, I had to tell, um, get them to stand here, then pull the thing up, then switch back to them and jump off. But every single time I tried to do that, they got jumped off automatically by themselves to just get off the platform. And it was the most dreadful thing because I was forcing myself against the blooming AI. 
As you can see, sometimes the AI can can do that. Uh, you have to be the other character, and they and they'll levitate you. So yeah, it turns out I uh, I did. I just missed. I just forgot that as well. I meant to do that. The same AI is not bad in this one. This was but when the was when they were spending money on good AI. Oh, this one only lasts a short amount of time. Out the way, move. Oh. Oh wait, is it because I'm Hagrid? I'm too big, aren't I? Maybe that's why. Harry! Yep, that's true. There we go. Out the way, kitty! And then this bit. Make a, this happens a lot in this game. It has three floating ingredients, it shows. And we have to... Find all the three ingredients in the environment, put them in the bottle, in the in thing, and it will explode or do some random thing which we need. So this one's an explosion. So we need to get back. Woohoo! And I just blew up the guy that was in the ice cream stand, so bye bye, you will be sorely missed. Um Whoa, what's going on there? Anyways. We need strong characters to pull chains out of walls. Obviously Hagrid is strong because he's really big. <laughs> hmm, okay. I uh, don't know what the heck that's meant to be, but... Build some books. Yep, this is part of the movie where Hagrid shows Harry Potter around. Pick up as much money as I can. There's a lot of things to do in this bit. Lots of things. Shoot chairs, blow them up. We need to turn these lights on. One of eight, as you can see. There's quite a lot of this kind of thing in the game where you just have to find things and do them. So, if this is the kind of thing which I'm really into, um, I've always been into this kind of thing where you sort of collect stuff and solve little uh, puzzles, which are not really hard puzzles, they're just, you know, one out of eight. Uh, I love this kind of thing, but other people, might, including children, might find this boring. It depends on the kind of person you are. There's often a lot of value in an area where the, where the camera doesn't show. There'll be some special thing that you can do. So, where the camera doesn't show, always run your character around there because there's bound to be something you can... Hmm. These levels are very quick if you're not collecting money. <laughs> Hagrid climbing over you and maybe not the best thing. Blow up all these chairs. Oops, sorry Harry. Misaimed. There's a lot in this area, so... Uh. Oh, oh. oh, everywhere. I won't be able to collect it all, because it's flying all over the place, but... 
that's kind of the point. Just get six out of eight. This is another one. Seven out of eight. So, da -da 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 -da. there's the one I'm missing. Eight out of eight. And it gives me a big piece of money there for that. Good.